Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energo and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Lockdown. And here he is in his alt mode, a 2013 Lab Lamborghini Aventador. And first of all, to, might as well address the elephant in the room, yes, it has an, a Decepticon logo and in the movie he was not a Decepticon. In fact, he actually said in the movie that he considered the Autobots and Decepticons in their little war like children fighting and, and making a mess of the universe and that he was going to come in and he had to come in to clean it, to clean their mess. So yes, they put him as a Decepticon because, well, I think the biggest problem with that Age of Extinction toy line was that there, there were no bad guys. There were only two, Lockdown and Galvatron. That was it. There weren't any more villains, which was a darn shame. Yeah, because even, even Stinger, which was a red bumblebee, which they could have easily have done, they didn't really do that. I think they, I think they did make a red one, but it was, I think it was a Japan exclusive, I think. I don't, I'm not 100% on that. But yeah, they, they, they just put it, they just slapped the Decepticon logo on him because they're like, oh, he's a bad guy. Decepticon, even though he's not. In the movie, he was a bounty hunter working with the creators, which I think everyone... Which uh, we will find out in the next movie, in The Last Night, that it's going to end up being the Quintessons. But yeah, he was working with the creators. He was a bounty hunter sent to search for any, I guess, Autobots. He was sent um, to Earth to go after Optimus. So he is the main villain. And his alt mode is kind of nice. A nice little, a nice little Lamborghini. Emphasis on little. Because that's probably one of my, one of the two problems I have with the vehicle mode. That one, it's it's really small. Lengthwise, it's not bad. It's average. It's like an acceptable length for a deluxe class, but it is short. I mean, like here's his uh, weapon. This is the weapon that comes with lockdown, and the weapon is almost as big as the car mode. Like it's actually a little bit longer than the car mode, and it's almost as tall. I'm a little bit exaggerating, but yeah, that's, that's like, his weapon is almost as big as his vehicle mode. Oh, and since I have this out, it's just a, it's a sort of a friction fire missile. You sort of put this in the palm of your hand, two fingers here, and push down, and it fires. Little friction missile. Forward, and put it back in there. Hit back in there, there we go. And since I have this out, I might as well show you where this actually goes in vehicle mode. Back here, there's two little ports. Two pegs here. Just put it there. There you have it. That's how he can store his weapon in vehicle mode. It's okay. Like it almost looks like an artillery cannon, but it's weird seeing this in on a Lamborghini of all things. It's not as bad as like how Galvatron had his like satellite thing on top of his on top of the uh, cab. But no, uh, we'll, we'll see that again in uh, robot mode. And my other thing, yeah, it squats and it has, and they made him a Decepticon. That's like the two biggest gripes I have with this. Oh, not just that, but also that there's no windows here. Yeah, you have like these nice blue shaded, blue tinted windows all around and even here. So, but yet here there's nothing. Why? Why, why do they do that? You can, you, can, you can like look inside and see the inner working and see like the robot bits. Why did they not do that did they want to simulate that this thing had like its windows down or something that's kind of what it looks like but like but why just why it's weird yeah but overall it moves very nicely like i said it's a really cool representation of the lamborghini aventador so let's get on to transformation go back here pull that out pull that around and out and then I think you go here, yeah, separate that, grab the car door, separate from, uh, from like this peg from there, and pretty much these are his, uh, arms, turn them around, go to the next step, oh yeah, oh no, 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 okay, here's what you do, you, supposed to, oh, I remember, You're supposed to separate this, you go here from, you lift, finagle a little bit, you lift it, until it separates, it's supposed to separate, there we go, oh, 
not yet. Separate up. It separates up. This folds down. That folds. Right. Now they're separate. Then you take this whole thing, fold it down like that. Fold it like that. You can kind of see his head there. Am I supposed to turn this? Oh yeah, you are. You are. So before that, go over here. Take his legs. Fold them down, and then you rotate this entire this is, oh, sorry, this entire right there, separated like that for clearance. Rotate it, you get his front. So let's just finish the legs while we're while we have it. Turn them forward, the toes like this. Then take this back part, fold it down. Oh, there's this port to peg. To this peg goes to that peg so separate for clearance oh yeah you have these fold them in the two headlights fold them in peg it there this back part just fold it fold it up until there's a click that's how you do it and then this peg goes into a port right there connect it so that it doesn't separate can't really see it but right there and move down pull move down then you rotate rotate and there you have them and that's it pretty simple transformation here is lockdown in his robot mode and I gotta say it's it's average. Whoops. <laughs> even my even my camera seems to agree. It's 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 average. It it gets the job done. It gets the job done like well you got, you got a nice face. Well nice as you can say, it's very detailed. It, it, like it looks like lockdown. But yeah, I said it's it, it's average. Like this, this should have been like someone else. This, this, and this is like my biggest gripe with this thing is that it's it's too short. It's short and stocky, and and that's not lockdown. Lockdown is supposed to be you know tall, lanky, and skeletal. This is not lockdown. I, I don't know why they decided to make lockdown look like this. This isn't him. I mean, it's him, but this body type is not him at all. So yeah, that's a big problem. Like I said, it's average. Let me just go in the posability really quick. Goes that far. It's ball joint, ball joint. Does nice kick. I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of nice uh, kickers lately. Knees that far. Can go that far. Uh, foot. That. Elbow here. Can rotate. Elbow back that far and head on a ball joint and ball joints do what ball joints do. And these can also move, but that's because of transformation. Uh, and mm, peg there. Back on. There we go. That tends to unpeg itself sometimes. And that's it. Then you have his weapon, which you can just, with that peg, you can have him hold it. In his hand like a rifle. You can have him even do that. If he's holding his rifle. And like I said. But, but then I'm going to show you the one. Really cool thing that this figure can do. And I'm really glad. This is this is this like this is this figure saving grace that it can do this. If you go on the top of his head. There's a port there. And if you look on the gun. On his rifle. There's that there. You're supposed to peg. You can do this. When you, get it right, you peg this on the top of his head. Kind of tricky. There we go. Peg on top of his head. And then you have his... I don't know how to call this, but this was... He used this in the movie. It was um his face sniper mode. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna call this on artillery mode, but this is his sniper mode. Where he shot Optimus, where his face just, just turns into a gun. That is awesome they were able to emulate that on this figure. Because, let me tell you right here, this gives headshots a whole new meaning. But yeah, this is like the this is like the saving grace of this figure that you're able to uh, to re replicate that. Outside, uh, like that aside, honestly, it's an average figure. It's average all around, and and just it, it shouldn't be. And, and like what what fails it is that this is lockdown. This this was the main villain of the movie. Galvatron wasn't the, was a secondary villain, and he got a Voyager. Why did this guy only get this one deluxe? Why? Drift got two. That's another thing. Drift got two modes. He got one for his car and then one for his uh, uh, helicopter mode. But why did Lockdown only get this? He, he needed to be a Voyager. He, he just did. In order to pull off Lockdown effectively, they needed to make him a Voyager. Or use the older, like, animated or, heck, even the Revenge of the Fallen movie Lockdown. That one looked a lot better. That one looked more locked down than this lockdown. So, like I said, overall it's average. Like, like I don't regret having it. Like, uh, like I said, the 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 his gun face mode is, is I think is worth it. But it's average. It, it's average, and it just and it just it just unfortunate that it, lockdown had to be average since he was the main villain of that movie, and he was pretty cool in the movie too. So yeah, that's. So that is my review of the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Lockdown. This is Composite Energo signing off. Peace out.